Now, there are two sorts of breaths. There's one you take at the beginning, which is a good breath. Big breath. You fill up your chest and your abdomen and everything. Take as much air in as you can in such a short time. And then you hold it. It's like this. Stop. Play. The other breath is a small breath which you use in between, whether you need it or not. And I'll show you that one too. Now look. I'm going to exaggerate the breathing so you see what's going on. Now, here's the, here's the whole thing that you really want to do this. So you saw how the breathing affected the, the playing. The next thing is we don't want to use a, a sharp tongue on this exercise. On this one here. Then when you get to here. Now, the next question you have to ask yourself is, where do I practice these articulations? And the answer lies in this little book, which I'm sure you all have, which I had a minute ago. Ah, here it is. I'm sure you're all familiar with this thing, right? And look at all these notes. And the question you have to ask yourself is, how do I practice this Tafanel and go there and to do all these articulations? Well, the answer is, don't play the whole complete page. When you start doing this, maybe just go to about G. So, then you need to do it up an octave. First of all, you do down the octave. And then up the octave. Now, why do you do it up the octave? 
could win a finger and get the same. The answer is to train your embouchure to be flexible. You need to have this sort of flexibility when you play the flute. scale you use these different embouchures for different registers and I'm sure you can hear the difference if I didn't change my embouchure to accommodate the notes or the octave, it would sound something like this. Right? But we want it to sound like this. me to another point. When you practice long tones, try not to be so abstract when you do it. You know, don't go off somewhere in your mind thinking about all sorts of other things. to play a little piece of music like this. You see what you have to change with the G, change the embouchure. Now, this be natural, you need to go right down into the foot because it's going to be sharp if you don't. See, what I'm doing now is I'm practicing my tone development, but not doing it on one tone because it's rather boring. And when you play, when you practice boring, it's going to sound boring. 